Right, I didn't plan to do this, yeah, but I'm gonna I'm gonna flip something on its head now. What if you was to do Ooh. and when it has to be, what if you was to do a top five in Australia to do this? So let's say it was Oz versus oh, the UK. Shit. The UK versus Oz. You've got to pick five men to be in a battle. Right? And it's and From it's UK? exactly the same rules. We'll go we'll, we'll do the Oz one first, right? If if I was if, if I was the manager of the UK and you was manager of, of Oz, who's your five from Oz that you're picking to, to go head to head with Alex with, Jones? And we're going Don's from the UK now. Yeah, Alex Jones. Easy pick. Shadow. Yeah. Nerve. Yeah. Fuck, how many have I said? You said four. <laughs> You've said. Have I? Wait, all right, so, you've all said right. Alex no, Jones, one, Shadow, Alex Nerve. Alex Jones. Yeah. Shadow, Nerve, that's three. Um. Wombat and Scrub. Oh man, there's so many left out after that as well. But I can't, I, know, I can't I be mad at that. But but I've got a way out. Me is the manager of Australia, brother. Right now, I've got to manage out the fucking grime side, the double time side, and the okay. So side. so you, so, yeah. you right? So Alex Jones easily can do both. Shadow definitely hmm. better at grime, but could easily do rap as well. Nerve, sure, man. He... Nerve comfy in both. Scrub and uh, and he's got he's Nerve's got good send bars as well. And then like, yeah, Scrub, oh, well, I mean it's he's... not so much a clash. That see now that would be different if it was a clash versus a cipher oh, yeah, no. because a cipher oh, yeah, no, it's no, no, all about sure. you as an individual, whereas a clash it is oh, kind of this and the other person. Yeah, no, no, I'm, I'm not, I'm not, no, I'm not talking about um. Yeah, yeah, fucking. We won't say it's a clash or anything or a battle. I'm like, okay. if it was a cipher, yep. And it was Flea, like Alex Jones, um, Nerve, Scrub, Shadow, and Wombat. Yeah, that's that's the five. Now, what's your five? I've got <sighs> from. All right, so let me do my Oz five. Alex Jones, Shadow, Nerve. So so far we've agreed. Hmm. Wombat. Mm. And instead of Scrub, I am going to go chill. I have completely forgot about that, dude. Um, mm. Yeah, I can see. But I know your boy yeah. is a Scrub, and I know you understand what he's got coming as well. I just, yeah, yeah, I sure. can't. I, I, I understand, I understand the, the chill thing. Mm -hmm. Like, I feel like, oh, chi like chill, he's smooth. He, he, he's got, he's got the delivery and the, the fucking, I wouldn't say the wordplay. It's a bit first grade, but fucking. Um, no, you have to say chill as wordplay. Yeah, but it, it, oh man, you I, uh, okay? Let me. The only thing I could. Yeah, say... I dig it, stamp it. Yeah, I'm red like an apple. Yeah, Billy Jean, Michael Jackson. Nah, man. he's got more layered bars than that. He does have more no, layered I don't think bars so. than that. I, I think, I think, I think it's just all corny pop culture. But scrub, scrubs got the. Uh, delivery that as well he's smooth as fuck mm, that Whereas is true. i think ch ch i feel like the thing is with chilling it if he i'm sure his next album is going to be a whole lot better than women weed and wordplay but fucking i just feel like it's just like when you overlook the delivery and all that sort of shit like when you actually think about it, is puff and weed like rugby league makes no sense I think his wordplay is just so filled with pop culture references that people just go, yeah, it's dope, man. I get it. Yeah. Like Basement Jacks, where's your, like, nah, it's just, you could literally get any song by any artist and then say that song name and then say the artist name at the end of the bar, like a punchline. It just, and all the sporting bars that he's done, Dr. Flea did that like five years ago. But I, I just think, He's not a good representative of what hip hop and all that is from over here, because he's just, as I said, just he's just polished off the best of everybody's style and put it into his. Whereas there's more pure forms of what he's spitting in other people. And that top five that I wrote with um, Alex Jones, Nerve, Scrub, Wombat, and Shadow, they've all got what chills got but chills just a 
he's just taken bits of everything and put it into his own thing. He's, he's not that unique in my opinion at all. I mean, okay, so going back to what you're saying about the bars that he creates, I think I can see your point of view in, on uh, definitely in okay. terms of his lyrical content. I, I can understand where you're coming from there. Um, he, he, he's, just, he's just doing intricate kindergarten rhymes, so everybody understands. But, now yeah. that's where I'll say there's a strength in some ways. His strength is he's able to create moments. The reason his one breath, one take got so big, in my opinion, is because he created multiple moments. So when he is at a show, yes, I understand. It is quite simple to understand, but that's the whole point. Oh, yeah, People sure. who are oh, yeah, lyrical sure. heads and don't understand rap don't, and, and listen to it as much as you or me or other people, they're a everyone's able to get it. So when you do show it to your girlfriend, when you do show it to your auntie, and they hear it, they understand they go, what, and Cardi they're like, hey, B, raindrop, drop top, yeah, I get it, Cardi B, offset, yeah, woohoo. Yeah, but yeah, it I creates get... moments. And when he's yeah, at the shows, yeah. he people know how to spit that line back. Is he, yeah, for sure, is but... he sometimes creating the more simple punchlines on purpose for people to get? A hundred percent. But I think, yeah, dude, like, I don't know. I'm a bit more old school and sophisticated with what I like in rap and all hip hop as a whole. I just don't think, yeah, he's just he doesn't tick all the boxes for me, man. He did. He he used to, but I think I think around this time last year he start. I think it's a lot of people when you get the uh, popularity. That's when you see a lot of content change for artists and a lot of people have kept the same done all that but i think he's just a influencer like a instagram influencer who knows how to rap and it's smart because he, he he's he's won over a lot of people but at the same time the real heads know what a good rapper is and what isn't but anyway that's that's the thing for next time I mean, right. okay, all I will touch on that is, like, I'm going to take a UK example here, Crepton Conan. Crepton Conan, they have done freestyles where they can bar the fuck out. To the point where yeah, I'm I listening know. to one freestyle and four months down the line. I've listened to this freestyle most days of the week at least once. Four months down the line, mm. I've only just clocked what bar they've what, what they've just referenced or what they've done with the play on words or, you know, yeah, yeah, like for quadruple sure. entendres, like that. triple and quad Dude, meanings. I, I do that shit. with Alex Jones, man. Like, man, I, I've been listening to Alex Jones since he was Dr. Flea for like a good fucking eight or whatever years. And there's tracks, even from when he was fucking a teenager that I'm listening to going, holy fuck, I just got that. That went over my head and I've listened to this track a hundred times. Mm -hmm. Like, I get what you mean. And it's crazy. Like, you get a mad feeling you fucking hear that shit too. Like, you'll hear it and you'll be in a different headspace to where you listened to it before or, like, doing something different so you notice it differently. Mm -hmm. And then it when it you just get that brain fart and clock on, it's just fucking crazy. Oh, yeah. I mean, I, I love... Um, that's why I am a lyrical head in terms of I love bars and punchlines and things yeah, like see, that. See, when that, it's not that's, forced. That's... I love it when it comes naturally and it fits oh, in with the theme of what you're see, talking about. See, see, that's why I don't really like Chill's music because I, I feel like he's forcing it too much. I feel like he gets up, um, like fucking a news site or like a fucking um, a pop a pop culture website or some shit, and just scrolls through all day just looking for a fucking pop culture reference that he can just like. I don't know. I feel like he forces it too much. Like back in the day when he was. Rapping, uh, starting off with like uh, body bag media and all that, it was sort of like fucking the the punchlines were like, oh shit. But I feel like now he's just trying to squeeze him out his ass. He's got nothing else in his fucking bowels but gas. He's not shitting anymore. He's just farting. Like, <laughs> but could you say that he's trying to hit a different market? Uh, yeah, but <clears throat> I don't know. At the same time. He's still super underground, man. A lot of people think he's a whole lot more bigger than what he is. Like, he's... Yeah, I, I feel like he's just super smart with the way he runs his socials and all that. Like, he didn't even have time last year. But, as I said, he runs it like he's a proper influencer, bro. Like, a fucking... Like, 
You get what I mean? Like the way. Yeah, YouTube I mean, I can't, I can't, I can't hate on it. At the end of the day, he's he knows how to market himself. He no, knows yeah, how to yeah, carry yeah, no, no, himself, he... and he knows how to grow online. He has more than just oh, yeah, one sure, avenue, sure. which isn't just going to you know, be he... his YouTube channel. You know, as you said. Yeah. He... yeah, no, he 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 knows the laws of attraction, man. But at the same time, um, people notice when you switch up and when you change, man. And I feel like he he went from being like this time last year he was doing tours up to Brizzy in a family Kia Carnival van. Them all driving up. And then literally like two months or fucking four, six months later, they've sold out an 800-person uh, venue at the Trifford for the Get Bodied Festival. And that shit all happened so quickly. And like a lot of new fans came into the Oz hip-hop scene. And like I've seen it all over Facebook, just memes and all that. Of Everybody just sings. Aussie hip hop is chilling it, and uh, that's why I just think it's, um, I don't know, he's given the wrong idea for what the scene is, and everybody thinks that mainstream sound that he's going for is what the underground hip hop here is, and I don't fuck with that at all, because it's not all it's not all pop culture references and fucking smoking weed hip hop, and so. Yeah, I mean, I, I can understand. Uh, obviously, you you want anyway. Before we get too, too distracted with my shit talk, let's. <laughs> fucking do the thing that we were saying. So the top right. five.